And, you know, he's good, and he makes the other teams have to adjust to him when he comes off the bench. Nice slip right there by Silva. And the final, the senior out of Chicago, averaging over 13 per game, puts Michigan back on top. Silva able to hang in the air. And that's a young man. It's buckets like that that will make him feel better about himself. Matthews, the difficult shot, just throwing it up there. Teske trying to keep it alive. Silva gets the rebound here. And beyond that, I'm hard-pressed to find out why the officials missed that. Well, now they get the and one. Is Silva is able to finish with Isaiah Livers all over. And we talked about Chris Silva earlier, a guy who was tremendous last year and one of the strengths of his game. Now, Silva in the last game had 11 points, 8 rebounds against Wyoming in their loss. Silva has position. And he's able to draw a foul. The South Carolina on the glass. And defensively, not really caring for the ball. And not sharing the ball. Chris Silva says, you know what? I'm doing it myself. Maybe that anger. Work here in the first half against South Carolina. Rosdakis with the right hand. No. And a good rebound by Silva. Silva for three. Hits it. And that emotion he showed has certainly sparked him. And that's exactly what Frank Martin Simpson to penetrate like that. Can't let him turn the corner. Keyshawn Bryant to the hoop. No Silva there for the putback. And boy, picking up where he left off. No whistle. Matthews finds a trail. And Teske. And it's an offensive foul. Silva was there to draw it. He thought he was outside of it. And in a moment, we'll know. He's outside. Yep. He stepped right out in front. Get another look, both feet out. Barely ending basketball teams and the numbers that you brought up, you got to take a look at the total points of the opposition. It's been the defense for Michigan that's won those games. Simpson drew everybody in the paint, which allowed the perimeter shooters like Matthews to spot up. And now a foul here against Teske. Several a point, at least from his perspective. Mm -hmm. This is only the eighth free throw attempt by South Carolina. They, the clock is Michigan's friend right now. Silva with a dunk with the left hand and a timeout taken now by South Carolina. 1-11 to go. He left before he could catch the ball. Silva on the baseline. Shot clock down to 10. Silva with the left hand gets fouled by Livers. And that's the last thing. We just had a turn line today. Make it three of seven. 87-7. Game number 20 in white, the big man for the Gamecocks. This Gamecock offense, Chris, has been out of sync for much of the year. Tough shot there, and Silva bailed out. He'll go to the line. Well, there, there are our young players. Chris Silva at the line had the most hype coming in. He's a pre They've tried to throw the ball into him, uh, but it has just been a struggle, and that's, you know, what you're... Thomas pushing Silva, and that's the second foul on Elijah Thomas. Both coach White lost it down low. Sonny grab it in the game for the Gamecocks here. Silva with a paint touch, and Silva draws the foul. Frank Martin said he wanted more to be their primary offensive option. He's just not there yet. A lot of people were asking what was going on with Chris Silva earlier in the year. Just kind of disappeared at ankle sprain, so you basically have about eight guys to work with. Fade and fire left short. Hinson battling for the rebound, and finally it's Silva. The ways you can grab a rebound, I mean, those are just silly fouls that those guys can't pick up. Hinson on a backdoor flush and a foul. That's why Frank Martin Love pays off dividends on the hardwood. And it's the second backdoor cut for a dunk that we've seen here tonight. The first one, A.J. Lawson missed. There, Hinson leaves no doubt. And that each and every year in recruiting. Silva gets it to go, plus the foul. Chris Silva, tenacious in the paint.
and he's, it's going to be his ninth free throw of the game. And that's just a very good pass over the top. You know, Lawson going baseline to throw it over, a nice catch, and then Silva with that athleticism, he's playing through it. And it's actually his 11th free throw of the game. Would have gone there. Although this does, this is, <laughs> this is Chris Cotter. You can imagine in the gains bag I have here a protein shake. Silva on a two-hand flush. Stolen away. Mitchell all the way. Left it short. Ooh. Follow up. No. How about a second attempt? What a block by Silva. Oh, my goodness. Off his pogo stick. And he's the one who commits the turnover here. And, and it's, it's a live ball turnover. Should be a basket. But he stays with it. I mean, how about this block right here? Denied at the front of the rim. So the turnover, you know, again, South Carolina's offense has to. That shot clock under 10 again. Down to four. Mitchell with two. Down low, a beautiful feed to White, but he had it blocked. It's now for Marquise Reed. Silva down low. And a, nice, and a nice response by Thomas. Grab it. In the trees, missed it. And another foul down low on Clemson. Chris Silva at 66% on the year. He really missed. And he's actually fifth all time in school history in free throws. Sting up on Thomas. Wants it. Finally gets it. Silva on Thomas backing in. Throws it up blindly wow. and somehow got it to go in a quick timeout by Frank Martin. What a what a compelling matchup that was. Both guys have four fouls. Right. So Silva kind of tiptoeing, doesn't want to pick up the charge. Eli Thomas doesn't want to foul on the shot. So both guys kind of feeling each other out. Finally, Silva, I mean, he, body control, nicely done. He barely saw the.